Conversations that would usually happen in the school lunchroom are now taking place over Zoom. News 8 Now's Isabella Holzweiser shows you how a few teachers found a way to make virtual lunchtime a success. I did this year, they're eating different meals in different places. I just heated up ramen noodles. But their conversations are the same. My favorite sports are track, gymnastics, and volleyball. Sixth grade students at Logan Middle School have the option to participate in Friday Lunch Bunch. We talk about school, like what we, what clubs we're in, and all about our classes and stuff. Virtual school has students missing socialization time. I never thought that I would actually say this, but I really miss school. Because with a Zoom environment, the really downside is the sixth graders are just split up into their classrooms. And that's who they're with all day, every day. So they might have friends in a different class that they never get to see. Meaning lunch conversation needs to be back on the table. I mean, I don't really have anything to do for lunchtime except eat. So it's just nice to like talk to some people. They really need this social interaction and we're trying to really promote, promote that and give it to them. The kids are loving it. We've seen a positive result, at least I have. And so are the parents. Um, so this is one opportunity that I feel like we have to uh, really protect our students' mental health. You can see their faces light up. They're actually enjoying. Um, they're having that fun component of school. All over. Because I just want to like talk to my friends. Their hour-long lunch break. In La Crosse, like, Isabella oh, Holsizer, like News 8 Now. Like, Isabella fits right in there. <laughs> Mrs. Brennan says about 30 students show up for the Zoom call every Friday. She says she's going to keep doing the lunch brunch group as long as students are learning virtually. What a great idea.